Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I know Ms. Bree didn't make a story time for yesterday, but we have more friends coming back to school, so it's harder for me to leave the classroom sometimes. But I'm going to continue to do my best to give you guys uh, daily story times. Um, it might go f like, th I'll do it like three or two times a week. Just depends on the day um, and how our class is doing, okay? But today, um, we're focusing on spring things again. I'm going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And then I have a fun activity to show you after we're done reading, okay? This is one of Miss Bree's favorite books. This is also by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lie on a leaf. <gasps> There's an egg. What do you think's in it? On Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny, very hungry caterpillar. Oh, he is tiny. Look how little he is. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. And on Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Can you count to three, ready? One, two, three. And on Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. I love strawberries. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. He's a hungry caterpillar, huh? See how many oranges? One, two, three. Three, four, five. Five of them. Wow. Oh, wow. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. And on that night, he had a stomach ache. I'd have a stomach ache too if I ate that much food. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that he felt much better. Now he wasn't a hungry caterpillar anymore and he wasn't little anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. Look how big he got. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. And then he nibbled a little hole in his cocoon and pushed out. And what do you think's going to happen? He became a beautiful butterfly. So pretty. A beautiful butterfly. Can you make a butterfly with your hands? You go, butterfly. We're going to see lots of butterflies lately. If you go on a walk in your neighborhood or if you have a garden, you'll start to see some butterflies. But today, I thought I'd show you how you can make a butterfly at home. Now, not everybody has coffee filters anymore, but they're kind of easy to get. But you take a coffee filter, and then you take whatever colors you want to make your butterfly, and you color, you color, color, you do it on the table. You color whatever you want on your coffee filter. Just make sure there's enough color to see. And it's better if you do it with two coffee filters to make a full big butterfly. So you color, 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 color. This is great for fine motors for the little babies. And then we have our coffee filter, see? I colored little scribbles on it. And then you take a spray bottle and you spray it. Spray it good. And then you'll start to see the colors bleed a little bit and form together. And 
so you let the you let the water do its job and let the color spread through and then you let it dry and then let's say this is our colorful dried coffee filter and you squish it together like this and you squish the other one together like this and then you could take yarn or string or a pipe cleaner and then you make you tie it together and then you make a beautiful butterfly and you could hang it in your window you could hang it above your bed you could hang it anywhere in your house you'd like to see it all the time and that'll remind you of springtime and maybe today when you go on a walk or if you go outside you can look for butterflies or even caterpillars okay caterpillars are a little hard to find but if you find some let me know okay all right i'll see you sometime later this week okay and i'll send an email with fun activities you could do at home okay bye friends see you later